Hello everybody, this is Michael. In this video, we will do the other module coding. Okay, so from previous video, we already have the uh, system interface and the, the status machine, status machine like this. So it's time for the coding for the module, for the buzzer module, okay? So first, uh, let's open our mod, uh, Visual Studio Code. Let's new one file. And we added the common information to trace the file. And we save it first, save. We save it into uh, this folder. We save it into this folder. The file name is buzzer module. Okay, we save it. Okay, so the module name will be the uh, buzzer module. So since the module name is this one, and we will create the module like this. So this is the module name. Okay. So first things, let's take the port. Let's take a look at the port, the interface. So here, this is our system interface. Okay, so we have uh, input clock, input reset. So the first thing will be the input clock and input reset. Okay, so next, this is uh, input key on and the input key off. Input key is all input signal. We put it together. Input key on and input key off. It's all input signal. And the input key, uh, the key, we have seven key. So here we make it like 4B should be good enough. Okay, so this is a key. So why we make it 4B? We uh, leave some space to extend our module. So possible we have more key here. For 7 key is good enough, okay? So this is the input and the output we only have one output. This is buzzer output, okay? No, we only have one output. Buzzer. Okay, so this is uh, this is the buzzer controller to control the buzzer uh, produce the sound, okay? So uh, this is the uh, system interface. It's very simple. Okay, next, let's take a look at the uh, status. We only have two status, okay, idle and buzzer. So, we use the local pyramid, local pyramid to define the status, idle. Idle is 2B. We divide it like this. Okay, this is the first one. The second one will be the buzzer. Okay, buzzer. This is the uh, second state. Okay, save it. So uh, next, we will use 
uh, we will define we will define the status variable to remember these two status. Okay, so um, we copy this first, and then we define one reduced value, which is this one, is state to remember this two state, and also we will to uh, define one count value okay count enable value to enable the clock divider okay and also and also we needed the count maximum okay this is count maximum and we defined it like uh 23 24 B, so it's big enough, okay, to remember the maximum value. This maximum value will be decided by the key value, okay. So I'll put different frequency waves uh, decided by this count maximum, okay. So next, we divided another one count value, which is same bit. We divided another count value here. Okay. Okay, so we so in the buzzer stator we will enable the clock divider. So from previous video we know the clock divider we are coding like this. Okay. So uh, next we will create our clock divider. We use one always block uh, to divide it, to divide it, okay? And this always block can be like this, a uh, positive edge. So you, you will see here if you use the uh, Visual Studio Code, it's very convenient. And all negative edge there are reset okay if if the system is reset if the system is reset we reset the clock if the system is reset here okay we use this one okay we use this one if else here if the system is reset, we initial the count value at zero, 24 bit, 24 bit zero. And also, we initial the buzzer controller. We initial the buzzer controller at zero two. So means we didn't output any wave from here, okay? So else, else we use this again, okay? Else, if the count equal to count maximum, so the clock divider achieves the maximum value we initial the count value as 24 as 24 bit zero and we reverse the buzzer level here buzzer level so to generate to generate the uh, uh, waveform here, okay? To generate the waveform here, okay? So if if else, here we need one more if else, okay? So if else, the count enable 
Uh, we use the count enable here. We use the count enable to stop the clock divider. So we need one uh, count value key, count enable value here. If this one is one, we begin to uh, count it. Okay. So make the count increased by one. Increased by one, okay? And else we make it reset to zero. Okay. So this is a clock divider. Okay. This is a clock divider. Okay, and uh, it controlled by the count enable, and it, uh, it will generate the maximum, the frequency according to this value. We uh, analyze uh, the frequency, how we decide this value according to different requirement uh, from previous video. Okay, so here. Next, we have the clock divider here. We have the clock divider. So next, we will to create our uh, state machine, use our uh, always block language. So always So this is uh, a positive age clock. We still need the negative age reset. Reset n n means the low lower reset. Okay. Okay. So inside this block, we will use if else. Still have the if else. Okay. So the first things we still check the reset. We still check the reset. When system is reset, we make the state, we make the state stay in idle. We make the state stay in idle. And we initial the count. We initial the count enable is zero. Okay. We make it zero. Make this one. Initiate it is at zero. Okay. Okay. So next, we will use the case. Uh, we use the case to describe the state machine. So here, this one is a state variable. We have one. We have two state. One is idle. Another one is buzzer. Right. Okay. So here in the idle, what we need to do is begin end. In the idle, we will check. Let's take a look here. In the idle, we will check the key on input signal. Okay. We check the we use if to check the key on input signal. We save it first. We use if to check the input signal. So if the uh, key on, if the key on is one, okay. So means the uh, key on input signal is one. Then we will we will. Make the state go to buzzer. If it is one, we go into the buzzer state. Okay. Make the state go to buzzer. And we also will check the key input signal. Okay. We will check the key to decide it the uh, 
can't maximum value. Okay. We use the case, we use the case to check the key. Key input signal. Okay. Key input signal. So if the key if the key is one key one we make it max count maximum equal to certain value here we make it like 10 minus 1 uh, the why we decide uh, why we put this value here we uh, is mainly for the uh, simulation purpose and uh, to produce the correct uh, song for the uh, piano song piano tone we need to change this value later but here we we setting this value to uh, for the simulation purpose okay so this is key one how about key two key two is like this uh, this is key two then um, we have we have seven key on our keyboard so we make it seven first so one two three four five six seven okay so here we one two three four Five, six, seven. Okay, so we set in the uh, we set in the count maximum value according to key input. Okay, so for the default case default, mm, for the default we make the count maximum the first value. We put the first value here. Okay, so this is the default. Here we need end the case. Okay, end the case. Default, put it a little bit over here. Okay, we save it. Okay, so uh, this is uh, if the key press and uh, we need to end it if the key are uh, not press okay so if the key press key on equal to one and if the key on equal to zero it will stay into the idle okay it will stay into the idle so we can put the stay into the idle like this. So this is stay into the idle. Okay. So this is a key on input signal for this one. Okay. Uh, this is the idle processing. Idle processing. Okay. Next, let's take a to take a look at the buzzer. Buzzer processing. Okay, how we how we handle the buzzer buzzer state, begin end, and uh, so when the when into the buzzer we need to enable the count. Okay, we enable the count value. So enable the count, make the clock divider is running. So here. When here will be one and the clock, the count value will increase by one. So we make it as one. And the next, we will check the key off signal. We will check the key off signal. So if the key off input signal uh, is this one, if the key off input signal is one, and then we will um, make the count enable as zero. Okay. We make the count enable as zero. And then we will go back to the idle.
state. Go back to the idle. If the key of signal are still zero, we will stay in the we will stay in the uh, buzzer state. Okay. We will stay in the buzzer state. Okay. So this is a uh, this is uh, idle and state processing. This is for the idle processing, and this is for the buzzer processing. For the default state, for the default state, what we need to do is make the state go to idle. We'll be okay. Okay. And then here is end module. We copy this one. So you will see uh, action is this one is very simple. This coding is very simple. This is the status machine. It's idle in the buzzer. And in the idle, we will check the key on signal. In the buzzer, we will check the key off signal. Check the key off signal. And then according the key on signal, we switch to the buzzer or stay into the idle. According the key off signal, we switch to idle or stay in the buzzer. Okay? And uh, here we will, according to the input key, certain different key maximum value. Uh, we set in the key, we set in the count maximum value here. This is input key. Okay, so this is the whole code. This is the whole code for the buzzer module. Okay. So uh, next will be the simulation. Okay. We will create the test bench and do the simulation for it. Okay, so this is for this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.